that's amazing for that for that time. That's absolutely insane. All right, so to close out the rest of the stream and to conclude our Rogue Galaxy playthrough here, we're gonna run through the ghost ship for uh, maybe like 15 minutes or so. We'll see what it's all about. Show it off a little bit. Uh, definitely not completing it, that's for sure. But uh, I definitely wanted to show it off before we concluded with the playthrough. So. <clears throat> So let's see where this actually takes us, because I've never seen the animation for this. Uh, oh my god, it's green! Going into the Flying Dutchman's Lair. That does not- that looks like a really like high-tech sci-fi ship right there. <clears throat> Something that's a lot better than the Dorgan Ark. So that's the famous ghost ship. Hey Kisala, you're not supposed to be here. How could a spaceship disappear 800 years ago and then suddenly reappear? This world sure is a mysterious place. I thought Erebus was only a legend. I never thought he really existed. A ghost ship, huh? Sounds like fun. Dang. Preparations are complete. We're ready to land, Captain. All right, we're going in. Ready? Charge! Charge. Oh, this is Arabis's ghost ship, all right. Hasn't changed a bit in all these years. Why, being able to stand here like this, it's fate. Just as I thought. Arabus's treasure must have been calling me. <laughs> huh? What are you saying, Captain? You mean you've actually been here before? This ship drifts through the galaxy on a set cycle. I remember it showed up once before, 40 years ago. I went after Erebus's treasure back then, too, but... But what? What happened, Captain? Uh, you know, it's strange. I don't remember that part so good. Ah, uh, whatever. Listen up, everybody! This ship contains all sorts of treasures Erebus <laughs> collected while he was still alive. Don't it just make your pirate blood stand up and sing? Yeah, Erebus was a legendary millionaire. His treasure must be worth a bundle. Then again, he disappeared ages ago. Who knows if his swag's still around? <laughs> they used swag back then. Plenty of brave souls have fought here for it and failed. But not even death is going to keep us away. We leave here with Erebus's treasures, no matter what. Come back with the treasure, or don't come back at all. <laughs> Look sharp, everyone. I really wish this would have been part of the game and not like after you beat the game. Because usually for me, if there's things to do, if things open up after you finish the the main game, I usually am done with the game by that point. Should we really be so. going any further in? Ah, yeah. Grinding a lot can can be tiresome, especially for viewers to watch. <clears throat> That's kind of cool, though. <clears throat> All right, well, look at that. There's a ship floating in there. Hold on. Um. Be careful. We could be dealing with more than just beasts here. <clears throat> now, I know that there is a there was a director's cut to this game, but I think it only came out in Japan. <clears throat> and I don't know what was what was on it that wasn't on this one. Uh, I'm sure somebody probably knows. 
the god. It's also said there's many, many floors in here, and if you leave, you have to start all over again. That's how hardcore this is. <clears throat> but we'll in here. we'll roam around in here for a little bit. Uh, I actually want to get rid of you and put Simon in here. Simon has way better equipment than you do. <clears throat> the final big bang. Genocide beams. Wow, that was like that was a terrible thing. <clears throat> so let's check out a little bit of the ghost ship. There's a lot of treasure in here, so they say. Entering battle, everyone. Sumo Buffalo. So like, how difficult are these enemies here? Let's see. I can at still at least AoE them a couple of times, right? Yeah. This is also kind of a... For whatever reason, I think this is a decent place to grind as well. Hey look, a new treasure chest. Purple. It's Twitch purple, everybody. The treasure chest of Twitch. Dark Onyx. If he built this kind of ship, the guy's got to be beyond rich. Yeah, this thing's massive. Massive ship indeed. <clears throat> Definitely looks like there hasn't been anybody in here for a while with, with all these webs and, and stuff around. <laughs> Come. Cosmore, what's here going on here? Come. What do these enemies look like? Bastards. They're just turtles that we've seen before. Do do do. That's the end of that. So what kind of treasures are in here? Because, spoiler, I'm not going to do this. <clears throat> um, what kind of treasures do you get in here? you get, like, powerful weapons? Do you get outfits? What do you get? Oh my god, there's cutscenes in here. <clears throat> what is that? Whoa, fancy. <laughs> Please wait. Let me assure you I mean you no harm. Look at that guy's hair. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sebastian. It's like a I'm chef hat. To Arabus, the ship's proprietor. <laughs> I've been observing all of your great deeds in secret. How long I've awaited to find people such as yourselves. Please allow me to explain. After an exhaustive search and screening process, you've been chosen as my master's heirs. Therefore, heirs. I hereby hand over all this chip's treasures to you. Oh, you're just gonna give it to me for free. All right, cool. Us heirs? But why? Just tell me where the treasure room is, the and I'll be on my way. The master's treasures lie deep within the bowels of this ship. Please, go on. It's all yours. It sounds too good to be true. Telling us to take the treasure just like that? What should we do? I don't take know. It. it is a little fishy. We don't have any other leads. Either way, Erebus's treasure is what we're here for. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. Huh. Timo says... Oh, wait till the cutscene's over, I guess. <laughs> Apparently there's still more. <clears throat> Finally. Our long-cherished desire. Got Shady AF. 
Uh, Timo says, Someone told me that I would be upset if I left after 50 floors and found out I had to start back on uh, hey, first floor. How long we gotta stand around here? There's shops after so many floors. Man, that sucks. That's super hardcore. It would be a lot more hardcore if there weren't shops in here. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh, Damon says, There's a unique insector. Ah. Interesting that they would put one in here. All these beasts. Where did they appear from? <clears throat> Relaxing aroma. You think it's uh, random items in chest? Really? <clears throat> That's interesting. Dark music box. Finish with Simon alone. Well, luckily enough, I have Simon already. <clears throat> I mean, like, this this place seems really cool, like, I, I think that, well, I, never mind, I had Steve, not Simon. Good job, um, I honestly think that we could probably go through here pretty easily, um, but the fact that it's, it appears after you beat the game, it's kind of like, eh. The fact that you're here means you've already completed the main story. The next time you start up a new adventure, try holding the R1 button. Uh, why? So if I hit new game and hold the R1 button, uh, what does that do? <laughs> That's interesting. What does it mean? The ghost ship of Erebus. It was no fiction indeed. <gasps> These are all ghost NPCs as well. Human greed is truly an awful thing. Yes. Oh my god, there's like different floors and stuff. I'll take you on <laughs> sumo bull easy. Here they come. Bastards. I at least want to get to like another teleporter or like a shop or something just so I can see like what it says. So there was like a wrap around area there, but I don't know. Looks like there really is treasure. Anything about that? <clears throat> like, do you keep going? Does it keep going that way or <clears throat> Guessing the map just transfers into a new zone. He'll give us the treasure. Is he serious? The master collected enough treasure to infor to afford an entire galaxy. <clears throat> you can't really blame someone for getting a little out of sorts. Uh, getting a little out of sorts over a f over a fortune that size. Try me. Do, do, do. Shooting star. Whoops, that's Here not what come. I wanted. Derp, 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 derp. Are you sure there's 100 floors? Pretty sure. Pretty sure these maps are wide rather than deep. I don't know. I personally don't know. I remember Timo saying that. <clears throat> it doesn't look like. I mean, honestly, waste of time. we're we're on a ghost ship. I don't. It's kind of would. It doesn't make sense that there's a hundred floors in a ship. But I don't know. This isn't half bad. I've never completed this or anything like that. <clears throat> I wanna know is like how do I know what floor I'm on right now? Master Arabus is an awful lot of treasure, but the rarest of them all is the living jewel. Because how do I know that is this still floor one or is this considered like different floor? I don't do even come. Come on, try me. Hundred floors randomly generated. 
Oh, Steve, you had to pick him up. Okay, there's stairs to go down there. Let's talk to you, Odette. The passage of time here is all messed up. I wonder if it's something to do with that black shadow. Is there like a boss at the end of uh, the ghost ship? I mean, I think there would, ha there would have to be. God dang it, I don't want to fight a mimic right now. <laughs> and he drops. There is a boss at the end. Huh. I have to go searching on YouTube to see this final boss. Or look in the just look in the walkthrough, I guess. Walkthrough would have pictures of it. Beat him up. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Queen Bee Singer. Treasure is rigged. If I drop my health to, to one, I don't care. Hypergravity sensor. These items aren't really that great. So let's see, we can go that way. What's down here? Or oh, treasure. Of course. <clears throat> you were surprised at the end? Oh my god, another mimic, really? Can I run away from mimics? We can't run away from this one, is what he says. Oh yeah? God dang it, it's true, you can't. Oh, uh, Mimic, you're the worst. Uh, Alright, we got confirmation. Uh, Ghost Ship Extreme has 100 floors. So the regular version doesn't then. Gotcha. This is crazy, man. That is crazy. This is getting out of hand. Okay. Yeah, there's like different ways to go because there was a there was a path leading up to the northern land. Ah, here we go. Here's a save point. Cool. <clears throat> so what is this particular area labeled as? Heading home for the day? Alright, man. Damon, thanks for stopping by. It's been a pleasure having you here, sir, and helping me out throughout this playthrough. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Uh, I know I did. It was fantastic. It was really fun. But... Uh, We'll be moving on to something else. Um, I don't know when we're going to be starting the next game or what the next game is going to be. But of course, you can always check my Twitter because I will post it on there once I know. Otherwise, I just the next time is. that I'm live, you'll, you'll see what game I'm playing. Uh, let me... What, what did it say? said Ruined Hall. 
Interesting. Is there like a map online that I can look at just to see? Go ship map. There's a lot of uh, extreme maps here. Okay, here we go. Oh no, that's never mind. That's not what I was looking for. You lied to me, game. Um, go ship map for PlayStation. Oh, okay. Here we go. <clears throat> so there's another section, and then there's a boss. I kind of want to see what that boss looks like. Because <clears throat> we've made it through up to this point. There's a little bit of area left to go, and then there's a boss room. <clears throat> I was going to end here, but let's check this out. <clears throat> We're pretty close to a boss, and I want to see how that looks. How that works. Whoa! This is a pretty cool area here. I feel like there's going to be a cutscene. Yep. Let's check this out. Oh. <clears throat> hey, wait a minute. Was that us? When we killed the Star King? Wait, who is that? Wow, that was close. Are you okay? <clears throat> Hordes of beasts have made this ship their home. If you're not careful, oh. they'll maul you from behind. Uh, thanks. They'll maul you from behind. Well, either way, just stay in your guard, all right? The beasts here are probably a little more than you can handle. Who's this guy, man? What's up with him? Okay, so I thought this was going to be a boss area, but it's the next area, so we should get there kind of quickly. Give us the treasure. Is he serious? <laughs> Are you ready? I'll take you off. Can I kill you easily? I can. That must be like the owner of the ship or just some other adventurer. That was a surprise you were talking about? Oh, okay, gotcha. I guess the deeper you go, you'll you'll find Let's out. Let's take the treasure and go. And honestly, the... There's not... This place isn't that long. <clears throat> it's kind of just as long as, like, any other dungeon that's in-game. It's the extreme dungeon that is... That takes forever. So, I mean, honestly, I could complete this well. if I wanted to, but... I don't know. If I decide to do it, I'll just like I'll I'll just upload these to like YouTube or something. How do I get to that other side? Oh, I think I might have to walk around. Yeah, I think I might have to walk around. I have to walk around anyway. Entering battle, everyone. I mean, honestly, that I could do that. Just like, I'll take you on. just record these off stream and then just do it. Come on, try um, me. to YouTube only, maybe. If I feel like it. Just to see the regular ghost ship. So we get to this section where the boss, where there's a boss apparently, and uh, we'll check it out. And then after that, I think we'll call it the stream. Call the stream, call the playthrough, all that. Don't fall behind, okay? So let's see. We are <clears throat> right here. We can go up and go up and around. Okay, so we're real close real close. Somebody has a, a decent looking map on uh, GameFAX. Uh, my Edsinia. Do, 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 
this way. I'm gonna skip the turtles, cause screw that. I'm gonna skip all this treasure here, cause <clears throat> usually it's not very good. Let's go this way. So here's a shop. Uh, check it out. I got all kinds of usual stuff. Unusual stuff. <clears throat> so you can buy potions, uh, stuff like that. Things in case you need to uh, use a revelation chart or flow chart or whatever. All right, let's check out this boss. I wonder if we're going to be battling against <clears throat> previous boss battles or something like that. Pretty interesting. Do do do. Those tall, all ones. What it's called? Okay. All right. Let's see what this glowy thing's all about. Be careful, everyone. What to be this? Circle of fear. The group is transported deep into distant memories. What? What? Oh! Huh? Wow. But we were in the ghost ship. So I have to fight this mud thing again? <clears throat> is it ghost Not mud kipper again. or something? Don't get eaten by that thing. Interesting. Uh, oh, Jesus. I forgot about that. Sir, can you stop doing that, please? Just gotta get on land. Perfect item right here. Kinda cool. But again, there, here comes the repetitiveness of things that you've already fought before. Which is my only gripe about this game. I wanted to come to me. Oh, get out of the water. Got the water. Didn't have enough time to get out of the water there. <clears throat> Wait, he's weak against fire? Is that what it said? I would think he's weak to electricity. But the fact that he's using electricity might mean that. So it's just fighting bosses that you've already beaten throughout the game, it looks like. <clears throat> then we get teleported back. Okay. What's going on? Ah! Oh! I see now! Multiple times and spaces are mixed up in this ship. They're layered on top of each other, which makes their energy unstable. You see? Get it? A, B. So what's your point? So my point is, we don't know what might happen. Well, that's a ghost ship for you. Things happen that common sense could never explain. Let's be more careful. Okay. <clears throat> I will say I'm definitely intrigued on the ghost ship. Inside this ship. I are intrigued and may do this off stream. 
Maybe. Uh, let me save right here. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six more bosses. Seven more bosses until you complete the normal ghost ship. So, <clears throat> I guess that's that. All right, so we have a, so I got to save a uh, slot here just in case that uh, I want to come back and do it. But I want to go back to the Dorgan Ark. And just just hear that Dorgan Dorgan Goa Dor, Dorgan Arc music one more time before we before we ends it. Uh, things way over there. God dang it! I wanted a I want a fancy angle like this. Yeah, that's what I want. Fancy angle like that. All right. So it's been. What, 64 hours? 64 hours in almost 30 minutes of our Rogue Galaxy playthrough, and I think it's come to the time to where this is it. We're done with it. Uh, yesterday we finished all the story. Um, today we did all the remaining bounties, which was 12 of them. We managed to get number one in the Hunter rankings. We're wearing... Desert Claws outfit, which we got from that. Um, we did rank C of the Insectron tournament, completed all that, which was fun. Uh, rank B, A, and S are going to be difficult. I'll probably never ever do those. Uh, we got some of the legendary swords, but the best one for me was just the Dark Cloud one. The stats probably aren't the best. It's just the fact that it's called Dark Cloud and it's named after the game Dark Cloud that was made by level 5. So that's that's the reason why it's it's my favorite, but overall it's been a good experience. Um, thank you to all those uh, of the viewers that watched here live on Twitch. <laughs> no mana dude. Thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, this is the end of our Rogue Galaxy playthrough. Uh, but thank you for that. I appreciate it. Um, thank you to all the viewers that watch here live on Twitch. All the people that are watching a video here and there on the YouTubes. The entire playthrough is on YouTube if you ever want to come back and revisit Rogue Galaxy again. Um, I'm not gonna promise anything. I may or may not do the the regular ghost ship off stream and maybe put that up on YouTube, but I don't know if I'll ever get around to it or not. It is kind of intriguing though. Um But that's gonna do it. We've spent sixty what was it, sixty three or sixty four? Sixty four hours in this game. Uh and it's been a blast. I've had fun, so thank you to everybody that's watched. Uh, at some part during the playthrough. It's been fun. So I'm gonna do what I always do after I finish a game, and that is I usually take a break from streaming for a week or two um, to figure out what the next game I'm gonna play is. I honestly don't know what the next game I'm gonna play is. Um, I have some ideas. Uh, again, when I, when I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'll post it on my Twitter. You can definitely go there and check it out. Uh, if you don't, if you're not a fan of Twitter, you don't use Twitter, that's fine. Um, just all I can say is the the time that you will know what the game that I'm playing is is probably the next time I'm live. So uh, you'll have to wait a little bit longer if you don't go searching for it. But I think that's about it. Uh, it's it's been a good playthrough. It's been fun. Last time I played this game was eight years ago, almost exactly to, to this day that I finished it eight years ago, almost. Um, and it's been a blast streaming it again and, and reliving it again. And it's and now that I'm, you know, more wiser and, and, and can understand the story and stuff and characters and all that a lot more than I did back then. Uh, it, it was more of an enjoyable experience. So that's all I got. Those watching on YouTube, we'll see you guys for the next game. Uh, it'll be here before you know it. <laughs>